I wanted to turn that off right now if you weren't filming it. I don't want to seem like a water burst. But... I only waste a little bit. You want that breakfast or what you want to keep? like a thing a while back and I like to wait till trims are totally burnt out and then show you what's up so anyway this is where the magic happens and uh, right now I'm getting set to record a, another screencast about single precision floating numbers and double precision floating numbers in Cubasic so that's what I got going on right here on my tablet um, it came with a stylus but I lost it so I have these replacements um, that's some like single number or uh, single precision number stuff. Right here you can see like, these are my notes from my last screencast. Like there's like some Python code kind of scribbled out right there. But just to show you that although I waste water, I do reuse paper as much as possible. So I've got that stuff. That will be really boring or really exciting depending on who you are. Um, so let's kind of zoom in here real quick and get this out of the way so you can get on with your life and be done watching this video. These these are good. Right here, they look like they're round, but they're really like real raisins. They're huge. Um, they're gone. Like, that's one thing I try and live on. And then, I got my Plantronics headset. This was recommended to me by somebody on that uh, works for LinkedIn or Linda. And he said that back in the day when a bunch of people were getting their start on there, they just mailed them a bunch of these like $30 headphones right here, so... That's what I record everything on. That was a huge luxury to me. Like, I didn't have anything like that till like maybe a year ago. Um, there's a computer. It's a Toshiba quad core AMD A6. Um, it's from 2014. It's got six gigs of RAM. Still bumping Windows 8.1. Of course, like, I've gone in and tinkered with it, so it's more like Windows. 4.0 or something. What else is there? Here's my guilt stacks of programming stuff. This is, I always start these, I love these composition books. Not particular these ones with um, synthetic, like, but whatever. But just these composition books, like you can get them. Sometimes they're a rip off, but you can usually find them for a buck or two. But they're just really good. I don't know, they're like the size. They're kind of like, if you can stick to one subject in it, it's ideal. But I'll go through like, Right here, there's the guiding principles for programming right there. Like, that's what you want. 